I finally did it. I added room presence detection to almost every room in my entire house. I have it here in the office, bedroom, the closet and bathroom, the studio, the living room, the kids room, and my kitchen. And the crazy part about all of this is that it costs less than 50 bucks to set all of it up. And that's because I'm using an open source program called ESP Presence that runs on inexpensive ESP32 boards, which are about five or six bucks each. And the way it works is you put a bunch of those boards in different rooms of your house, and then they give off a Bluetooth signal and it can sense my Apple Watch and it knows which room I'm in. And it works surprisingly well. So let me quickly show you what you need to do to get this all up and running. First, obviously you need an ESP32 device and you're just gonna flash ESP presence to this. And there's some really good tutorials on how to do this by Everything Smart Home and a few others. I'll link his down in the description and all the steps that you'll need to do. And then it will create an MQTT device in Home Assistant, and that way you'll be able to know if you're near that room or not. And the way you do that is you register a Bluetooth device, and I'm using my Apple Watch. While this ESP32 board is still connected to your computer, you just open up the logs and put your Apple Watch right next to the board. And then you'll see in green what the device ID is, and if you move it away, it will say it left, and you'll know for sure it was that device. So then you just take that device ID and you create a sensor in Home Assistant. And then you just take this, plug it into power and put it in a room. Then the best part, you walk around your house and you make sure your Apple Watch is being detected in the correct room. And if it's not, you might need to tweak the distance. I don't know why, I think this is just so much fun. All right, let's go to a bunch of rooms in my house and I'll show you how well this works. So right now it says we're in the studio, which is true. Now let's walk over to the office. So we're heading over to the office. We'll see how fast it can pick us up. So we're in here and should be not too much longer. There we go. And we're in the office. So now let's head over to the living room. All right, now we're in the living room. Let's see how quick it will switch over from the office to the living room. And sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, but it's not that big of a deal because you don't need it to work immediately. You can use motion sensors and millimeter wave for faster detection. So there we go. It says we're in the living room now. Now let's walk over to the kitchen. All right, we're in the kitchen now and let's see if it will update, which this is a little tricky one because it's kind of one big room. The living room and the kitchen are kind of connected. So it might take a second for the Bluetooth to switch over to this ESP. Okay, there we go. We're in the kitchen. So that's pretty sweet. It knows I'm in the kitchen and not in the living room, which is just right over there. Out of the box, ESP Presence does a really good job at determining which room you're in. But once you start adding a bunch around your house, it can start to overlap and sometimes it will get it wrong. And so you'll need to change the max distance on the ESP device. And so what that will do when you change the max distance is it will only pick up Bluetooth devices in a smaller range, like just inside the room and not across your house. And by default, it picks up 16 meters away, which is just way too far. And most of the max distances I've set up are like three to six meters. And that way it's nice and small and it will only pick up devices in that room and it won't pick up other ones. And the way I figured all of that out is I created a dashboard in Home Assistant and it shows which device my Apple Watch is connected to and then the distance to that ESP device in meters. And it's pretty accurate. And if it starts to pick up a different device that it shouldn't, you can see how far the distance is and you can reduce that max distance for that ESP device. And so you can just limit it to just the room and that's pretty much it. I think room presence detection is one of the most powerful things that you can add to your smart home. I'm gonna be able to go back to older automations that I created and have them only run for me and not for my wife, Allie, if she doesn't want them to. So that's gonna make our smart home so much better. And this is gonna unlock so many more automations that I'm gonna be able to do because I have a room presence detection in almost every room of our house. I'm gonna be doing some ambitious stuff with thermostats, TVs, and so much more 
So make sure you hit that subscribe button for this channel and for the main channel because you're not going to want to miss those videos. Thanks for watching.